ناظرین کشمیر لائف کے سائنس ٹاکس میں آپ کا خیر مقدم جیسا کہ آپ جانتے ہیں اب ہم اس پروگرام میں کشمیر جو وہ کشمیر کے سائنٹسٹ سے بات کرتے ہیں ان کے سائنٹ پرسٹس کے حوالے سے ان کی خوش کے حوالے سے ان کی ایچیومنٹس کے حوالے سے اور جو سب سے زیادہ امپارٹنٹ ہے ان کی جو لرننگ کرو رہی ہے ان کے قیدیر میں وہ کیسی رہی اس میں کتنی اس کرو میں کتنے بینڈز تھے اور کتنے چیلنجز تھے تو آج کی کڑی میں ہم نے دعوت دی ہے ڈاکٹر محمد اشرف ڈار صاحب کو یہ بیسکلی بائیو کیمسٹ ہیں لیکن یہ بھی اس ریس کا حصہ ہے پوری دنیا میں جو پروٹین کے پیچھے پڑی ہے پروٹین جو اندر والا پروٹین ہے جسم کا اور پروٹین جو باہر والا پروٹین ہے جس کو ہم کھاتے ہیں تو ڈاکٹر اشرف صاحب آپ کا خوشان دید کے شمائے پوشا ہے تو شروع ہم اس بات سے کریں گے ڈاکٹر صاحب کی یہ پروٹین تو ٹھیک ہے یہ پروٹین پر اتنی ریس کیوں ہیں ہر ملک میں ہر لائب میں ہر کیمپس میں جہاں بھی بات کرو پروٹین پروٹین ہے کیا چیز اور اس پر ہماری سائنس کا بھیار کیوں بن گیا ہے لائف سائنس کا اوکی سو جیسے کیا آپ جانتے ہیں کہ ہمارا جسم جو ہے یہ سیل سے بنا ہوا ہے سیل کھلیا جس کو کھلتے ہیں کھلتے ہیں And cell uh, has different biomolecules, made of different biomolecules, different biomolecules are floating in the cell. For example, DNA, RNA, and most importantly, the proteins. So the information that is in, encrypted, the core of the life that runs our body or our cells, that's in the DNA. And DNA forms the RNA, and RNA is, uh, RNA forms the proteins. So proteins are the workhorses. In our cells, they run the cell show. So the proteins, on one hand, they are they form they are the building blocks of the cell, the cellular system. On the other hand, they are the active workers. They are the enzymes. They are the uh, uh, transporters, uh, transporters. So all the functions uh, within the cell they are carried out by the proteins. Uh, any defect in the protein function. So that disturbs the cell, cellular physiology. And any defect in the cell reflects in the form of the diseases or various body disorders. So that's why uh, protein research is very important. Basically, it, uh, uh, it leads to the, I mean, uh, to understand the mechanism of the protein, protein function. So it forms the basis of treating various diseases and disorders. So that's why most of the labs in the world, almost 95% of the labs in the world, they are focused on the protein research. Dr. Sir, in the protein of the protein, where do you eat? And that protein that was in the research, what was the ups and downs? You have to take your school and you have to study in the university, in the university of Kashmir. ریسرچ بھی کرتے ہیں تو یہ جو پورا سفر تھا آپ کے سکون سے اور بیک ٹو دی یونیورسٹی تو اس میں کون سے مائل سٹونز تھے مائی سکولنگ انیشیلی ایٹ واز ایک گورنمنٹ سکول ایٹ مائی نیٹیو پلیس ایڈجسٹ دی بیش بیہارا تاونیش پا بیش بیہارا اس کال چان پورا سو مائل سکولنگ سٹارٹ دیر اور Then I basically, uh, my bent towards the research, it actually happened when I was uh, doing my uh, tuition, uh, tuition classes with a very uh, famous professor of South Kashmir, A.G. Khan, A.G. Abdul Ghani Khan. So he was a very great biologist, basically uh, uh, attending his classes, tuition classes, it imprinted some kind of taste in my mind, I mean, for the biology, for this research. So from that, I mean, I think that was the, uh, that signal that made my mind to go for the research uh, in future. And after that, I did the normal routine, um, uh, what's called this graduation at the degree college, Anantanal boys. And uh, later I came to the university, uh, and select and choose the subject of biochemistry because biochemistry is uh, kind of a specialized subject which is more uh, oriented towards the research and uh, after I finished the, uh, my master's here I went to the Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi to carry my PhD there with uh, a great scientist of India Dr. Suman Kumar Dar and there I worked on the uh, 
plasmodium. Plasmodium is a malaria uh, causing pathogen. So there I uh, basically discovered a unique protein in this malarial parasite, the DNA gyrase. And uh, that we, we, we understood this mechanism, how it basically controls the DNA replication process in the pathogen. And later we identified a drug, acriflavin, that targets this protein, particular protein, and kills the parasite in the mouse model system. Patented that discovery, and we have got the international patent out of that. So after that, I moved to the United States uh, for my postdoctorate, where I worked on a small protein uh, that's called ubiquitin. So this ubiquitin, what exactly does uh, when there is the abundance of the proteins in our cells, or the protein, uh, its structure gets deformed. This ubiquitin is tagged to that particular protein, and this uh, tagging acts as a signal for this protein to get. Uh, sweep or degraded in a specialized organelle in the cell called the proteasome. So, after uh, spending six years in the United States, I came back to the University of Kashmir and as a scientist here, Ramaninga Swami Fellow, where I have uh, established my own lab. I have my own group now. So, we are continuing to do the research uh, on this ubiquitin, small ubiquitin molecule in different contexts, in the context of the autophagy, neurodegenerative diseases and other processes, for example, DNA replication or uh, DNA damage response. Well, Dr. Sir, I have a few questions about this question. What were the key takeaways from your two major researches? One at JNU and another in the US institution. I don't know which institution you uh, work at. There. So at JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University, the main uh, zest of my research was to identify this novel protein, DNA gyrase from the plasmodium, and we were successful in targeting Target, this yeah. protein with a drug, and that drug that was a, uh, that that discovery we patented is a patent, and in United States I discovered I worked on the uh, uh, you know this uh, cervical cancer in women. Uh, the cervical cancer in women is caused by the papilloma virus. This, what this papilloma virus does, once this virus finds entry into the woman, woman's body, so it then eventually goes to the cervix area. And there what it does, it releases a protein, this virus's own protein, E6. This E6 uses the cell, host cellular protein, the body's own protein, uh, basically takes it from the cytoplasm and brings it into the nucleus and in nucleus it regulates another oncoprotein within the cell CDT2 so this is how this virus basically uses this viral oncoprotein it uses the host's host's own protein to drive a uh, DNA replication pathway to make it more faster and cause the tumor that way. So we identified this pathway with this mechanism how this uh, virus basically uses the cell's own uh, machinery this USP46 that protein is USP46 and makes the cell oncogenic, makes the uh, mixed an oncoprotein. So that was a uh, great discovery to identify this USP46. Now the uh, thrust is that uh, to basically uh, identify the inhibitors against this USP46, so that we can treat the uh, uh, what is called cervical cancer in the woman. Which institution was? It was the University of Virginia, University of Virginia, Charlottesville. So you spent six years there? I spent six years there, yes. So what has been the follow-up now on that particular thing? Uh, is that lab still working on that? No, they are working on that. They are trying to identify those inhibitors. And that's, this discovery got, got a large, I mean, widespread uh, circulation in the U.S. media that time when we discovered that. It was a very great Where discovery. Author? I'm the first author in that public. Yes, I'm the first author. It was my discovery, yes. So they are pursuing that in that direction to identify those novel inhibitors so that the, uh, they can treat the, uh, the cervical cancer. So in case of cervical cancer, we know the pathology now? We, we know the pathway, how this, how this virus is uh, hijacking our own system. Like, to cause COVID, the, like COVID? Yes, to cause, the, to cause the disease, to cause the tumor. So uh, once you uh, got that highly competitive fellowship to, to involve, and you got in the University of Kashmir. What is the 
focus of your research? So now I am uh, basically focusing on the autophagy. Autophagy, uh, basically we are basically uh, trying to identify the pathways in the autophagy. Autophagy is a process, normal process in our body. Any defect in the autophagy, it basically uh, turns into the diseases and disorders. For example, uh, in cancer, in cancer there is this tumor, it's a mass of the cells. And now people are trying to understand how this tumor over its cells because it does not have access to the nutrients. The surface cells, they are fine, they get the nutrients from the blood cells the surrounding tissues. But what about the core? How this core survives there? So what we are uh, presuming is that it is because of the autophagy. The autophagy is on there. So that is making these cells to survive there. In autophagy, briefly, what autophagy means is that cell uses its own, it scavenges its own organelles to survive, to basically survive the stress. So that tumor core is under stress, nutritional stress. So to survive, it basically scavenges its own organelles or the old proteins to, to survive, to survive. And but in other disease contexts, for example, neurodegenerative disease, there's Alzheimer's disease. This autophagy basically uh, it gets defunct, and the uh, protein aggregates they get fired up. There, there is no mechanism now which basically can sweep away those aggregated proteins, fired up proteins. So, what in short, what we are trying to understand is how this pathway works, how ubiquitin, this small molecule that is the focus of my lab, that is driving this particular uh, pathway, autophagy in different disease contexts. In the cancer and in the neurodegenerative diseases. So, uh, 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 how soon will we be able to locate a paper in which you are again the first author and you are again uh, in a very good journal talking about your new breakthrough? Yes, inshallah soon. Uh, so, uh, but now I won't be the first author because my student has to be first author because this is what I will be corresponding author. So, uh, it will be in a uh, year's time or in a couple of months we will start writing and then we get published, it may take a year or so. So, uh, which uh, aspect of uh, this protein will be there? So, uh, what we will be is what currently we are basically we are, uh, understanding how this, uh, it's not on the autophagy first paper what we would be focused on. So it is basically how ubiquitin basically helps the DNA damage response in our cells. So then there is the any uh, it's called uh, damage in our cells, the damage in the DNA. So that has to be repaired. So we are trying to understand how this ubiquitin is involved in that DNA uh, repair process, DNA damage repair process. Do you have enough of infrastructure as you are working here in uh, the uh, U.S. University to manage uh, such a complicated research in which nothing is visible to your eye or to even an ordinary microscope? Uh, initially, I mean, we, are, we are working very hard here to build up this required infrastructure. So we came here and uh, there was not much there, uh, but we came here, we started writing grants and uh, uh, brought uh, the company participating in competitive grants and grab some of them and we are building the infrastructure. So I think uh, we are in a good shape right now. It took a lot of time and in between this there was this COVID and other uh, scenarios which basically uh, was challenging, quite challenging. But we managed to uh, manage to get uh, required funding to build up that infrastructure. So Dr. Ashraf Saab, in your busy schedule, mein. वहाँ से निकल कर हमारे लिए इतना वक्त निकाला हम को इतनी बात बताई हम तो बहरहाल तो we are limited to science but we understand certain things कि इसकी implications हमारे लिए क्या होगी so I am looking forward to a day within a year as you said when we will be talking again about the landmark breakthrough that will come out of the lab other work thank you Dr. Ashraf for spending so much time with us my pleasure